the day after we got all that snow. But I did clean the car completely off yesterday, probably late afternoon, so it's not as covered now. Same with the solar panels and the bar over there and the barbecue, the catio roof, that little awning thing. I just clean all that off so it's not so much weight from the snow. Definitely a cold one. It's minus 14 Celsius. But I've noticed this morning that there's really not a lick of wind. So that's nice. <laughs> but I was woken up at 7.30 a.m. by Mr. Squirrel running along the roof yet again. Shed here is pretty much half full at this point. So that's fine because where are we now? Mid to late February. So we've got March and April and then... I'll probably still burn wood, honestly, right till almost July, just not every day, all day, just, you know, maybe evenings until we get, you know, warm enough weather to uh, not worry about it. But yeah, probably just nighttime fires occasionally once we get into May and June. When it's really still and it's not currently snowing, I will admit it is a little bit pretty but I do still want it to disappear. <laughs> and since it looks like the sun is going to come out, pretty blue sky up there. I'm going to get up on that rickety old ladder and clean that solar panel off. Maybe that one too. Yes, sir. The sun is shining. All that snow is finally melting. And getting some good solar. Batteries look super happy. Okay, I was wondering what was going on with that solar light. It never comes on at night, but I'm realizing now the way that panel is angled is just not getting any sun. Maybe it will in the summer, but... Yeah, but since I can't angle that panel any other way, I think I might actually move it to a different location. I'm thinking that other solar light would have been better here, and this one would have been better over there since it has the panel kind of separate from the light of course it's attached by a wire but I can angle it differently from the light itself I'm also thinking I want to move that birdhouse because it's just kind of in the middle of everything and it's where I could reach it which is why I you know posted it up there but I'm not getting any birds there at all, so I think I want to move it to a higher location. I was kind of thinking either that power pole, as high as I can kind of go with the ladder at the end of the driveway. Maybe I'll actually move it somewhere into the woods here where it's a little more private. Which reminds me, do you guys remember this robin's nest? really not that far at all from the generator so I always worried every time I had to turn it on that it was way too loud <laughs> for the baby birds that were up in this nest here. Yeah, always a good idea not to do this on a cold day. I cracked the plastic right here. I probably had this tightened into position and then I tried moving it just to, um, you know, get at the screws to remove it and crack the plastic right there. I think it'll still be okay though. If nothing else, I can put some electrical tape around it uh, to hold it in place.
Hopefully that's a better spot for that solar light. I am probably going to tape with some electrical tape around where it's broken just to hold it into place better, but I can see already that the sun is sitting on that panel, so hopefully the light's actually going to come on in the evenings now. Mr. Squirrel over there is thirsty. Looking at the ice. As for that tree, I do still want to put a solar light over there just to like light up this area in the evening a little bit better. But I'm going to put one that has you know, a solar panel like this attached to some wire so I can angle it in a better location. So I'll actually get some light here. And then in the summertime, I do plan on putting some solar string lights around here just to kind of light up this um, parking lot. I don't know what you call it, a yard. Um, but yeah, just the more lights, the better, that's for sure. Definitely still a little icy over there in that snow pile from the plow. <laughs> yeah, really it's just nice that this is all the snow we have left. And I'm hoping it's going to disappear completely, but it's really nice to not have it all up on the roof, all up on the solar panels. See, that's definitely getting the evening sun, so I'm excited to see if that comes on tonight. Well, that's pretty sweet. You can call me Jenna the Junk Getter because uh, somebody had these out by the road for garbage pickup. And because they're plastic chairs and there's nothing really wrong with them, you can see what color they used to be. I'm going to paint them in the springtime and set them over by the fire pit because all of the foldable material chairs that I put over there end up rotting from sitting out in the rain. So because these are plastic, that's definitely not going to happen. The only thing I noticed was a little chunk of plastic that broke off right here, but that doesn't affect the integrity of the chair, really. Nice and flat spot to put your beer, you know what I mean? So yeah, come springtime, I'll try to find a color maybe that matches the camper a little bit. Spray them up, they'll look good as new. Oh, Jesus, that is frozen. Mm. Okay, well, wow, that was definitely frozen on there. This is empty. But I know this little guy has propane in it for sure. Just take a guess at what I'm about to barbecue. See how well you know me. Any guesses? You probably guessed correctly. Barbecue steak. Guess who else is back up under the roof? Because I can hear him when I'm inside. Mr. Squirrel. I'm probably going to have to start throwing some cayenne pepper back up under there again. <laughs> yes, I've done it before. I was that desperate. A little bullseye blazing chipotle. And a little beer.
Really can't complain this evening. It's late February, minus three, minus four outside. Steaks on the barbecue. The sun is shining. Man, this definitely has me pumped up for spring. Ooh. I don't know about you guys, but I like my steaks well done, so that's looking like it's about ready for me to eat anyway. No pink on the inside. Shut off my teeny tiny propane tank here <laughs> and grab this stuff and go inside. Voila! Can't really complain here. A little steak, a little salad. Little barley pop. I am over this. <laughs> it's lunchtime, another snowfall warning, and a crappy winter. I'm over it. I'm ready for spring. I'm ready to go fishing. I'm ready to go swimming. I'm I'm over this. What? Spring is less than a month away. <laughs> <laughs>